Rose of Sharon Foundation, a non-governmental organization, begins a journey of touching lives in 2008 with special focus on one of the most vulnerable in the society, the widows and the orphans. These group of people in some typical Nigerian setting are exposed to cultural and traditional ridicule, physical and vocal harassment, torture after being accused of being involved in their husband's death, among others. After the death, we went for the burial, we came back. Since we came back to now, I've not had anything for the family, whether 10 naira of bread or sweet or 5 naira for the children. Nothing. Because I didn't have child in that uh, family, I was neglected. Yes, that, uh, I was neglected because if there's any child that I feel maybe they will be asking from time to time, how is the children or that. Uh, so since then, nobody cares. So since in that time, this is not uh, easy for me. Even my husband, people, nobody they care. So the time where I go meet them, say, ah, things you get a CBU. They say, no big as I born. Tomorrow now, then go marry. Say, make I no worry them. I can tell a lot of things whereby men will tell you, please come, I want to help you. And they want to take advantage of you, even to my children. Rose of Sharon Foundation comes on board through a divine nudging from God, according to the founder, Mrs. Folorosho Alakija, one of Nigeria's most richest women. She's empowered by her husband, the chairman of the NGO, Mr. Alakija. Ten years into the journey, Rose of Sharon Foundation rolls out drums to celebrate its success of reaching out to the less privileged. Thirteenth of June, twenty eighteen, a press conference is organized to brief members and the board of trustees on the lineup of a week-long activity to mark the tenth anniversary. The need to re-emphasize its purpose takes the center stage. This foundation commenced from a divine call by God in James chapter 1 verse 27, instructing me to assist the widows and orphans. The celebration of his grace has now begun. Throwing light on what we do as an organization, our work predominantly focuses on the alleviation of the plight of these vulnerable groups of people. Our programs provide financial independence and educational support to tertiary level or vocational training as the need arises. A journey that started with three widows on the 23rd of May, 2008, has empowered over 3,000 widows through vocational skills acquisition and awarded scholarships to 1,366 widows' children and 86 orphans. The loans to widows are interest-free and the scholarships have no conditions attached. Elated by the deeds of the foundation towards their past helplessness, some beneficiaries narrate their life-changing experiences after coming in contact with the Rose of Sharon Foundation. When a woman loses her husband, the woman will be shattered. You'll be left with nothing. He died, oh, he's slumped. He's slumped. So I was not opportuned to be with him when he was dying. When he slumped, he was taken to the hospital. Before I could get there, he was gone. So, and it 
was somehow it was not really good at all but with the glory of god my pastor came to my rescue then so he came to me and you know just introduced me to the foundation and since then i've been enjoying as a beneficiary here i've learned a lot of skills i've learned what i'm wearing i did it myself i made this dress myself i can do stoning this shoe there was the slippers i dropped there then i made it i can make beads bags i can make perf i can make liquid soap i can make bathing soap i can make body spray a lot and art making i lost my husband 11th of uh, September 2005. He's a pastor. He was coming back from the church when he had an accident and he died that same day. Uh, at the early stage, I thought my children would not even go to school because nobody to call on, no family, nobody responded except those that God sent to me until I came, until this woman saw me one day where I was managing my business. She said, ah, Madam, have you had a basketball roast or Sharon Foundation? I said, no. He said, okay, they are giving form. Let me check my bag if I still have the form. Fortunately, mainly she opened her bag. Only one form was left. So that's how she gave me the form. So go and fill it and come and submit it. After filling it, I find it difficult to come to this place because no cash to come. All of a sudden, somebody helped me. I came here and submitted the form. And they said they would reach out to me. And they did.